Hello? Hello? Um... I'm um, sorry. No, I can't, I can't talk right now. I'm doing a review. Yeah, I'm doing a review on uh, Inside Number 9. Episode 4. Yeah, the, the one set in the call centre, yeah. Yeah, I have, I have worked in the call centre before, actually, yeah. Yeah, I did like it. I thought it was really good. Yeah, I, I know. it's. It was kind of... It was creepy. I know they were in that interview saying that everyone keeps expecting them to be creepy, you know, but... No, he was really good. I always forget which one's which. Steve and the other one. But the other one, he was uh, amazing acting. Really, really tense. Yeah. Mm hmm. Um. Uh. It's not even a phone, no. It's just a remote control. Unsettling, wasn't it? Wasn't that fun? And that's how much fun Inside Number 9, Episode 4, was this week. It was tense. It was incredibly funny. Some great gags. Um, I like the fact that they were using the screens, but not in a felt um, sort of gimmicky way. Uh, it wasn't all this sort of, um, what they call it, 24 kind of thing. There wasn't one running for another one going like that. It was... It was like, really subtle, but it's scary. Suddenly, boom, the ending, which is rather nice. Again, I've got to say, the problem with this series is, yes, it is lingering under the shadow of Black Mirror, which gets a longer running time and therefore can sustain its atmosphere a lot more than this can. I think, really, they should be given... What is up my nose? They should be given um, a longer running time. I think... Inside number nine should be given a Christmas special that goes on for an hour. Go and let them have that much running time because they could really, 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 really do a good job on it. I think it's just great. So, yep. Yeah. I've finished now. Yeah. What am I going to give it out of ten? Um, oh, I think definitely. I think nine out of ten.